morning and welcome to another video. Uh, today, we got something kind of fun planned. Uh, but first, if you're new to the channel, my name is Brian Hauer and uh, back in April, I put an order in for a 2021 Tesla Model Y and got that delivered at the end of April. And since then, I've been on a 14,000 mile trek around the western side of the United States, doing a lot of camping and just uh, road tripping, visiting friends all over the country. And so far, it's been a blast. I've loved the Tesla Model Y experience so far. Um, but starting today, it gets even better because today we're going to be leaving Las Vegas and we're going to be relocating our home base, I guess you could say, or at least we're going to try it for a while. We're going to head to the Salt Lake City area and I've kind of just decided that I've lived in Vegas on and off for about 15 years and I think I'm just ready for kind of a new place, a place that has more parks. Uh, that has better weather. <laughs> um, you know, during the summer in Vegas, it's pretty brutal. So I was looking for something that was a little more conducive to just outdoor activities, things like that. And while I'm not a huge winter person, I'm gonna try to embrace it a little bit more coming up this year. So we're gonna be headed toward kind of the Salt Lake City, Park City, Utah area today. And I'm actually just gonna be dropping some stuff off there. As you can see, I'm pretty loaded up here and back. So what I've decided is to kind of have a home base out of that area kind of going forward and we're going to try that for a few months and and see how I like the area and then I start my 10-day journey up to Yellowstone so I'll actually be going to Jackson Hole Wyoming tomorrow uh, at least spending a day there if not maybe two then kind of doing the Grand Teton which is right next to it and maybe doing a couple hikes in the Grand Teton National Park area and then after that we'll be headed up to Yellowstone so today we just have the trip from Vegas to kind of the Salt Lake City area we're going to be going to the the end is the Draper Supercharger in uh, Draper, Utah, which is like just south of Salt Lake City. Let's take a look at the map here on the Tesla and I'll show you what the plan is for today as well as probably the next week, week and a half on the trip through Yellowstone. All right, so we're here in Vegas right now and we're gonna put in the Supercharger in Draper, Utah. Now it's telling us to go to the St. George Convention Center Drive Supercharger which we've been to before. That was the one that was slower. It was only 72 kilowatt. Now, their website, as a uh, viewer pointed out a couple weeks ago, the website shows that it's now 150 kilowatt. So we'll see. But, uh, and then the next one is Beaver, Utah, which we've been to numerous times. That's the really huge one that I've literally been to probably like 15 times uh, on this channel. And then Draper, uh, Utah, right after that, it says 408 miles, six uh, about six and a half hours. It's probably gonna be a little bit longer than that and we'll probably have to stop maybe at one if not two other places just because of the cargo box. I'm gonna to try to use the energy page a little bit more. So it's showing right now with 87% based on the last 30 miles, it's showing that my average range would be around 211 miles. Now, this car is rated for 326 at 100%. Um, that's EPA estimated, so it's really more like around 290, 300. But it's right now saying I have a 211 mile range based on the last 30 miles. We'll see how accurate that is. It wasn't real accurate on my trip to Scottsdale recently, so we'll have to try this again. But uh, some people had told me to use the trip planner here. It says that I will get to the next charger with 35%. And so we'll check that out and see. Yeah, it says 35%. Let's, uh, let's put it to the test. So next stop is St. George, Utah Convention Center Drive. I did charge up for about $20 last night at the Link High Roller here in Las Vegas. That's 250 kilowatt. So we're gonna be heading out here in a second and I will see you at the St. George, Utah Convention Center Drive Supercharger.
All right, so just getting to the St. George, Utah supercharger here. Um, this is, I don't think, Convention Center Drive. So it took me to the other one. I was wondering why I was going into town. All right, I'm going to take a look at that in a second, but let's get charged up here. All right, so just got here to St. George Supercharger. For some reason, I was thinking of the other one. I don't know, this one, it says, yeah, it did take me to the other one. This is the St. George, Utah Supercharger. I take that back. This is not the convention center drive one. Um, this one is 150 kilowatt, which is what I thought. Originally, it had me going to the convention center drive one, which is 72 kilowatt. Uh, but it ended up taking me to the regular St. George one, which I've been to previously here at the Starbucks. Um, usually I come in from the other side, but yeah, I'm not sure exactly why it ended up switching it up, but decided that this was the best route for me. So it wants me to charge here for 20 minutes and uh, it says, yeah, right now I have minus 25 to get to Beaver, Utah. So we'll see. It told me that I would have 35% when I got here. And as you can see, I have 24%. So a little bit off still, obviously. Um, let's look at the energy page real quick. Yeah, I have 48 miles left, it says, based on that. So again, it looks the last 30 miles. But again, with the cargo box, it just doesn't seem to quite get that yet. Um, or I guess if the topography changes, and things like that, then it's just not quite getting it, or at least maybe 30 miles just isn't enough for it to get a good average. All right, so I'm gonna go plug it in charge right now and get that going, and uh, I will uh, update you before I take off. So starting to charge here. Yeah, I was wondering why it was taking me off the freeway because I was like, the convention center drive one I thought was pretty close to the freeway. This was like a 10 or 15 minute drive in. Yeah, so we're getting about 142 kilowatts in right now. Uh, it says 20 minutes remaining to continue trip. We'll wait 30 minutes and then uh, take off. So I'll talk to you guys uh, when we get done charging. I'll let you know how much and we'll be on to the next one, which it says is beaver utah so we'll see if we can make it all the way to beaver utah on the next charge yep so that total was sixteen dollars and 45 cents for that charge all right i'll see you in uh, beaver utah Sky's beautiful and so are you. I wanna make it up to you. So, so. In 1,000 feet, turn left onto South Main Street. In 500 feet, turn left onto South 525 West, then your destination will be on the right. Now turn left onto South 525 West. All right, well, we're back at our favorite supercharger. Pretty busy, actually, today. The ones on the other side that we just passed, those are only 150 kilowatt. These are all 250. All right, just pulled in here to Beaver, Utah supercharger says that we need to charge for about 30 minutes. We'll probably do a little bit more than that. I don't know if we can make it from here all the way to Salt Lake City. It says that we should, but I'll have to take a look at it a little bit closer. Um, said that we would have about 32, 33% when we got here. Uh, had We got 27, so not too far off compared to normal, but still, you know, a little bit lower than what it said. So I'm gonna go get charged up here. I'll update you toward the end of the charge. All 
All right, so started charging. Looks like we're getting about mm, 215 kilowatts or so. It says we need 30 minutes. We'll probably go about 40 at most. Um, this is my favorite supercharger. Uh, one, because they're mostly 250 and there's about 30 or so stalls. But also, got a little uh, restaurant over here to the left and also a Dairy Queen over to the right. So I'll be heading over to Dairy Queen in a moment and getting some ice cream and I'll update you just before we take off. Yep, just finishing up charging here in Beaver, Utah. Just finish up charging and get on to Salt Lake City. All right, so I ended up having to do a little work for a client, uh, so stayed a little bit longer than I normally would have. We're up to 96%. Now it says 25 more minutes to go the last 4%. That's not gonna happen. So I'm gonna go disconnect. Uh, if you wanna see charge, it says, well, I should say first, it says we'll get to Draper, Utah with 23%. It's two and a half hours away. And that's uh, just south of Salt Lake City. So I don't know if we're gonna make it that far. We'll see, 23%, it might be close. So we'll just have to play it by ear. Otherwise I might have to stop one more time on the way. Looks like, yeah, there's uh, another stop in Nephi, Utah, which I've stopped at once, one other time. Uh, that's 108 miles away. So that's kind of a backup plan. So we'll kind of keep an eye on things as we get close. And otherwise, right up here from Beaver, Utah, up to Salt Lake City, and should be about two and a half more hours. Let's look at the charging cost. Uh, right now, $16.50. So I'm gonna go disconnect and head off to Draper, Utah. Hopefully you don't have to stop in FI, but it's there just in case we do. I have so much stuff in back I can't see. I just hit this little button right here. And that'll bring up the cameras. So this is a perfect way for me to see blind spots or see any cars behind me, anything like that. So whenever I need to merge and it's kind of, there's a bunch of cars around or something, I'll just take a look at that. And that does the trick. It just uh, updated the directions. And so it, it now added the Nephi Utah supercharger in there. So automatically did that. It says I'll have 44% when I get there. And then I'll just have to charge for five minutes, it says. And then that's enough to get on to Draper. Um, I'll probably just stop there for 10 minutes and that'll be plenty. I'll see you in about 45 minutes at the Nephi Utah Supercharger. All right, just getting to Nephi, Utah. Supercharger is just right off the interstate here, so it should be a quick little 10 to 15 minute stop. All right, ran to the bathroom and then made a quick uh, FaceTime call. And so it says we'll get to Draper with 42%. So uh, I'm gonna go on hook. Let's look at charging current $7.42 right now. So. All 
probably just getting off the exit here to go to the Draper Utah Supercharger. I've been here, I think, once or twice. In 500 feet, turn right. Now you have arrived at your destination. There we go. Not bad. Pretty small, but <laughs> seems to be okay. All right, so got in a little bit ago and just been kind of relaxing, got some food. I'm actually pretty tired because I, mean, I was up at like 5, 5.30 this morning. So the plan tomorrow morning is to get up pretty early. I'm planning to probably get up around like 6, maybe 7, and I want to go hit uh, Big Cottonwood Canyon and do a little hike out there. And so the plan is to do that in the morning, hopefully get back here by around 10, 11 so I can shower, and then I'm going to check out and then headed toward Jackson Hole, Wyoming. And I'll be in Jackson Hole. Uh, for a day or two and then gonna be uh, doing some hiking and maybe some fly fishing maybe some rafting around Grand Teton so plan to do that over the next couple days then I'll be heading up to Yellowstone so action-packed week ahead and I gotta get some rest so I'm gonna call it a night I'll see you guys in the morning and we're gonna hit uh, Big Cottonwood Canyon tomorrow morning All right, so taking a little drive here to Big Cottonwood Canyon, which is only about 20, 30 minutes outside of like the southern suburbs of Salt Lake City. You can see like the views here are ridiculous. <laughs> so, I'm doing this with one hand because I didn't bring my other camera. Yeah, this is a pretty scenic drive here. And then there's supposed to be a lake up there. I can't remember the name right now but there is a lake and then um, yeah, it's supposed to be a nice little hike just around there, nothing, nothing too crazy. So should be a good time. Super awesome. Yeah, so the lake I'm trying to go to is called the Silver Lake Trail. So uh, I said it was about 14 miles from the bottom of the mountain. About 14 miles of beautiful scenery to drive up. You and I, we're trouble in sight. Beating hearts don't lie. An empty page, a story to write. All right, so I was driving with one hand and trying to film with the other, and I was like, why don't I just turn on autopilot? <laughs> so just to put on autopilot here, see that, and then just letting it do its thing. Makes for a nice, uh, nice little scenic drive then. You can actually take some pictures. I uh, do, do still have to touch the steering wheel every once in a while, but. Yeah, it's just beautiful. What a perfect day to be up here too. 73 degrees now. It's dropped about 10 degrees since I left uh, the suburbs of Salt Lake City. Now they're right to stay on Brighton Loop. All right, so here at Big Cottonwood Canyon, getting ready to do the Silver Lake hike. And looks amazing. So I'm gonna get up there. Hopefully I don't uh, pass out and I'll see you guys soon. Guy told me that pulled up next to me, he said, take it slow. He said, you're at like, I don't know, 7,000 feet or something like that. So he just said, take it slow and which I'm gonna do. But yeah, it's just like amazingly beautiful out here. All right, so the guy warned me about moose. He said it's feeding time. 
And he also said to take it easy. I just started five minutes ago. <laughs> I'm already out of breath. But yeah, look at these views. So nice. All right, onward and upward. Dude, this thing is straight up, straight uphill. <laughs> I'm dying right now. Holy crap. Wow, I'm only about 15 minutes into this thing. I'm hoping I get up to the top soon. No joke. I got some deer up there. All right, got another deer up here. Right in front of us. He's like 20 yards in front of me. Alright, so I took the tough way, I guess, up the Silver Lake Trail. Uh, apparently, if you start on the side I did, it's like basically straight uphill. And uh, although there was a little bit of a payoff, as you can see, so this is the first lake I got to, and then now I get to go downhill, so happy, <laughs> and I get to go downhill to Silver Lake, actually. And so the trail is, uh, I don't think it's very long either. I just talked to a, a couple that just came from there, and they were like, yeah, go that way. It's a lot, lot easier. So, yep, pretty amazing views, though. So thanks for coming along for the ride and please uh, like this video if you want to see more like it and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. I'd appreciate it. All right, now down. All right, at least this part's all downhill now. And then we get the payoff at the other lake. All right, so just came from all the way up there. Going all the way down there. Like in the early October. Okay. Yeah, when it has the first snow. Oh, wow. Yeah, these are the Aspen October trees. October already, huh? Yeah. Okay. We still have October. Uh, All right, so I just finished that hike, and man, was that tiring. Uh, super fun, but super tiring. Uh, I'm gonna head back to the hotel now, get a little bit of rest, and then tomorrow heading off to the Grand Tetons and Jackson Hole, Wyoming, along with uh, a few days after that to Yellowstone National Park. So really fun-filled, action-packed uh, week ahead. So stick around, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, I'll see you in the next travel video.